then signal us there are many things that seem strange and mysterious. One of the prime examples of this is the chimera from nowhere. This beast of corruption stands in solid opposition to our journey and marks the second boss fight in the game. It is this confusing mess of flesh that I will be covering the lore of today, for by trying to understand as much as we can about something that is really not understood at all, in my eyes it's going to get us closer to understanding the game as a whole. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. To start off, we should quickly review what exactly the Chimera is. The Chimera is a boss that appears within nowhere. We fight it after jumping down a hole from the medium levels of nowhere to the lowest level. After descending down the hole, we are greeted with a short cutscene. This cutscene depicts Issa standing in the room alone as the hands of the beast reach out to grab her. During this introduction cutscene, the kanji for Nue, or Japanese Chimera, is shown on the screen. From here, the player will then have to fight the Chimera. The enemy sports an insane 900 HP that makes it impossible for a player in a normal playthrough to kill it. However, one will notice Issa in the corner of the room reloading Ador's rifle, so the player must survive against the Chimera long enough for Issa to reload. Moving around will increase the amount of time it takes for her to hit the enemy, but doing damage will decrease the amount of time. So in terms of strategy, the player should prioritize survival over doing large amounts of damage, as Issa is going to fire regardless in the end, so it's more important that you don't die rather than trying to deal that extra bit of damage to look a little bit cooler. It should also be noted that it, while very hard to do, it is possible to stun the Chimera using either the flare gun, rifle, or shotgun. It is very easy to do with the shotgun and interestingly difficult to do with the flare gun and rifle more so than with a lot of other enemies. In debug, it is possible to kill the Chimera, either by spamming the rifle or flare gun using the lawnmower and give commands, as well as reloading from your inventory. However, in higher difficulties, it is going to be a lot more difficult to pull this off, as Issa will usually fire her rifle off before you have the chance to finish the enemy yourself. Even if you kill the enemy yourself, Issa will still play an animation where she double taps it. So, that is what we play through and experience with the Chimera. Next, it should be noted that no notes really mention anything about it, and it isn't ever mentioned again, which really doesn't help in our goal of figuring this mystery out. Because of this aspect, our understanding must originate from what we are given. So to start, we should look at its design. The Chimera sports a unique design, being a bundle of flesh contained within a cage. It has four Storch's legs and eight arms that could belong to any unit aside from the Auras or the Myina. Its body has no heads or faces at any location on it, and its appearance combined with its name tell us that it is the result of several replicas being melded together, and we can really see this if we take a closer look at it. So why does this beast exist? What's its point, its purpose, its backstory? For this we have to take multiple approaches, seeing as nowhere is a location that is honestly barely understood at the present. So the first approach is one that considers nowhere a part of normal reality. If this is the case, then the Chimera likely could have been created as the result of multiple infected replicas being pushed into a cage together. Perhaps this was done as an act of specialized cruelty to punish these replicas. Cruelty such as this wouldn't be far-fetched, as elsewhere in S23 and Rotfront, we see the nation's reaction to rebels and interrogations is often violent and cruel. The next approach is to state that it is the creation of the flesh. If this is the case, then the flesh trapped multiple replicas together for the purpose of creating a stronger beast. However, Signalis offers options aside from just normal reality answers. Um, these options of dream theories, bioresonance, and distortions due to the king in yellow all offer other answers to the question of what exactly this thing is. For the sake of maintaining a objective evidence-based summary here and in all my videos, I will be avoiding the dream-centric theories. As I not only dislike them, but I don't think they help with gaining a greater understanding here, as in a dream theory, anything could be true seeing as nothing is real, and everything is subject to the user. So first, using joint bioresonance. If it's joint bioresonance, then the Chimera could have been created by the pain of the residents of S23 who channeled that pain through the Calibris into the flesh to create this. This explanation could be seen as the various arms all reaching out as the residents are trapped within a cage of decay doing whatever they can but ultimately are stuck together. It should be noted several dream theories wager similar assumptions about what exactly this thing is. However, 
by assuming it's just a manifestation of one person, we can change the focus over to Isa. Seeing as we find Isa in this room, it has been theorized that this room holds some level of connection to her, especially seeing as she was unable to really respond to the beast in the intro cutscene. So what if this was a manifestation of her lost sister? To be honest, I don't have time for that today. It would take a whole nother video and a lot of more theories on Isa to be finished to really properly convey that point. So for the sake of not misleading you all, I am going to end the video here. Well, at least in regards to theory. There are a couple other things I would like to quickly mention regarding the Chimera. First up, the Chimera is located in the lowest level of nowhere. This is the level that seems to be the most distorted with flesh. While what exactly that means isn't known, as again, nowhere is not very much understood, it is something that should be noted regarding that almost all the other rooms that are in this level are quite deranged and quite distorted beyond what we would usually see in normal reality. It's also the closest you can get to the exit in the entirety of nowhere. The other thing is Nyoe, or Chimera, in Japan is a little bit of a different concept than it is in the rest of Western society. To begin first off, it should be noted that Japanese references in Signalis are not as common as one would think. Most references that we see that a lot of people assume are Japanese are actually Chinese in their origin. Lots of symbols, words, phrases, and references all trace back to China rather than Japan. So it is something that does make it noticeably separate and more remarkable than a lot of the other Eastern Asian references in the game. The other thing is the Noe is considered a bird, at least from what I'm reading. In Japan, it is a bird type which would fit in with it being a replica albeit a completely disturbed and very much changed replica, but it is considered to be a type of bird, at least to the Japanese it is. It is something that doesn't exactly have, from what I can read, any strong connotations with anything, at least name-wise. It doesn't seem like there's anything in Japanese uh, mythology that exactly connotates that this thing arriving is means X, Y, or Z. It just generally seems to be a bad thing. So I don't think we can get too much lore-wise from its name. I just thought it was interesting that it is something that, much like all the other replicas, is a bird. If you'd like to see all this in an organized spot, I made a wiki page specifically for this video, which as always is going to be linked below. It's on the fandom wiki, and it's not that bad of a page. I hope you guys like it. Speaking of links, if you'd like to speak to other Signalis players, I've updated the links for my discords in the description. They weren't working properly prior. Hopefully they should work now. This has been Christopher Beast. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.